Hey, it's Jeff Challen. So this is our second video announcement. It's the week of 9, 13, 2016. It's Tuesday. And here are the announcements for this week. So probably the most important thing that we want to make sure everybody gets, I think 99% of you guys are doing this right, is that you have to watch the videos that are assigned for the class on the internetclass.org website in order to receive credit. If you watch them on YouTube, we can't track that you're watching them and you don't get any credit for watching them. So please don't watch them on YouTube. Watch them through the website, otherwise you're not not going to earn credit and that's an important part of your grade. The second thing I want to introduce you to is a virtual machine image that we're going to start using tomorrow. We're going to distribute today, start using it tomorrow, and use it throughout the rest of the semester. So a virtual machine is like a entire computer that runs in a window inside your existing computer. The virtual machine is completely isolated from your computer. In this case, it probably runs a different operating system from your computer. And this is a really useful way for you as a computer scientist or as a computer engineer to start getting familiar with different types of operating systems. In particular, if you've never used a Linux or a Unix environment, this can be a great way to get started. The nice thing about it is if you make mistakes inside the virtual machine, doesn't matter. Delete it, start over, not a problem. Okay, so the first thing you have to do uh, is to download and install VirtualBox. VirtualBox is the virtualization software that we're going to use. This program should run on Macs, should run on Linux, should run on Windows. So regardless of what kind of computer you're using, you should be able to install VirtualBox and use it to open the appliance. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to download the appliance from our website using a link that we're going to send out on the forum. Once you have that appliance downloaded, and this is a big file, so please try to download this on campus. Try to do it today. If you come to class tomorrow and you don't have this and you need it, we will have it on flash drives that the UTAs are going to have with them. However, I would strongly suggest that you download it today and at least run it once just so you're prepared for any problems that might come up. Um, okay, so I've already downloaded the file. It's called appliance.ova. Once I have VirtualBox installed, I should be able to double click on this and it's going to open it inside VirtualBox. So I have a chance to change some of the settings. There's no need to change anything if you don't want to. Uh, and then I hit import. What's happening is VirtualBox is loading an image from this file into an environment where you can then boot it and run it. So once this is finished, this takes a few seconds, um, you'll have this computer inside your computer, uh, a virtual machine is what it's called, uh, that you can use to play around with to do work, and in this case, to do the assignments for this class. The reason we're doing this is so that we can provide and prepare an environment that's identical across large numbers of students. First of all, we, there are certain networking tools that we want you to use, like, for example, for tomorrow's assignment, Telnet, that a lot of computers don't have installed. And so this is a way to distribute those tools. Even if you have some of these tools on your own machine, we'd still like you to use our virtual appliance because that way we know that the version of the tool that you're using is the same as everybody else in the class. Okay, so this has now been imported. Up here, I can, you can see it's, it starts off powered off. So the first thing I need to do is boot it. And this is pretty cool. So now what you can see over here is that um, VirtualBox has opened up a window, and inside that window, this computer is booting. So there's this entire mini virtual computer that's now running and living inside of your existing computer. So this is booting an operating system called Lubuntu. Lubuntu is a lightweight uh, version of the popular Ubuntu Linux distribution. So this computer runs Linux. Um, once it boots, you see a familiar friendly logo. There's a readme on the desktop that I would encourage you to look at. It has the password for your account in case you need it. Um, and there are two applications here. Uh, one is Chrome and the other is a terminal application. And if you're a computer scientist, I would argue these are really the only two things that you need to do 100% of the work that you need to do. Notice that I didn't mention an IDE just in case you're in 115. So, um, okay, so, and uh, if you boot up the, the terminal, you'll see you have an account here. I can run commands like uh, trace uh, route, um, let's, I don't know, cs.stan. Uh, edu, uh, and that works. Um, 
You know, so, so this is a computer, and this is a, a, a completely independent standalone computer that's completely different and isolated from the computer that you use normally. Um, you should be able to open Chrome in here as well, use it to browse websites, things like that. Um, so please uh, try to download this and set this up today. Like I said, the file is pretty big. It's about 1.8 gigabytes, so please download it, uh, preferably when you're on campus and in a fast, have a fast networking connection. Um, start getting this set up today. We'll help you finish it tomorrow, but if you come to class with this all ready to go tomorrow, you'll be a step ahead on the assignment uh, because you won't have to waste time getting this set up before you start. Now you'll need this to do the assignment tomorrow. This is not optional. Um, we we'll look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. The second, the protocol week videos are due tonight. As a reminder, at midnight, please watch them. We'll have a new set coming out tomorrow, so we don't want you to get behind. Uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, and uh, have a great night.